Thumb up, please. Today we're going to see four, maybe five professional players. Mm -hmm. One of them throws a curveball, one of them throws a slider, and one of them throws a slurve. Off camera we had talked about curveballs curving or breaking, and now I have an idea, a better idea what it's all about. The way we think curveballs break isn't really what we're seeing. Our eyes lie to us. And I'll even take it a step further. The hand's quicker than the eye, but a thousand frames a second don't lie. The baseball and its rotation and its speed and direction really messes with what we're seeing. Nicely done. When the ball is on the flight uh, in the beginning, the uh, batter can actually see the ball with central vision. And when the ball is near the home plate, about 20 feet away from okay. the plate, oftentimes they take the ice off a little bit. So the baseball is actually in the periphery vision. Near the end of the flight of the ball, when the ball goes back to central vision, the perceived velocity and perceived direction and the physical velocity and physical direction are line up again. But before that, you had had a, a, a illusion. So that's when you see the break in the end of the, the flight of the ball. The central vision is actually pretty small. If you hold your, your thumbs out like this, the central vision is just this piece. That size? That's your central vision. Now I know why hitting is difficult. Once we understand why people see the break of a curveball, we may develop methods to actually reduce the misperception.